Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 17th of October. Let's look back at last week's Trade of the Week, which was long Dow Jones Industrial Average. Of course, this is in the face of a wider bearish trend. So certainly a counter trend move that was a little bit riskier, a little bit of a higher risk to reward on this one. It's been a tough one to take because actually I haven't necessarily been wrong. The market has popped once again. But what we have seen in the midst of that is a flush lower on Thursday. So we can see here we took our trade down here. We saw a nice rally over the course of the week. So this would have been really quite profitable. But within that move on Thursday, we literally just came down, tapped the stop loss and moved away. And this is the nature of the trading. You can learn your lesson and say, well, I like to put a wider stop loss. Or you just say these things do happen. Uh, so a bit of a difficult one to take, but we are moving higher once again. So I do think there is still a chance that we come into this wider retracement area before the bears come back into play. For the week ahead, I wanted to move away from the whole risk on risk off sentiment that we're seeing throughout markets because there is that possibility of the wider rebound for equities. I wanted to look here at euro sterling. Of course, we saw that big pop in euro sterling around the time of the UK mini budget. We subsequently saw this big reversal candle. We've been building on that. The four hour chart shows you that we've ended the creation of higher highs and high lows on an intraday basis with this head and shoulders formation signaling the potential for further downside. The risk here is that we pop into a, a deeper retracement here. So arguably, I could just take the trade and put our stop above this level here, which would be around about 88.65. But instead, I'm going to do it a different way just to try and get a closer stop loss. So I'm going to take my trade on the break of 86.09. So I'll take my trade at 86.09, put my stop loss at this level just above this more recent swing high, which is 87.26. And then I'm going to put my stop loss replicating that move towards the downside for a one for one trade. And that would be at 8490. Uh, so waiting and hoping for the next leg lower here for euro sterling as we build on the head and shoulders formation that we've seen here and the big reversal from the mini budget as we move into a new chancellor and who knows, maybe even a new prime minister.